Good afternoon and welcome to this week's Tiger Paws. I'm Kelly Murphy. And I'm Randa Simpson. Campus is buzzing about the changes happening this fall semester, including new education grants and updated classroom facilities. We will have more on those stories, but first. On Saturday, potential new Tigers and their families had the chance to explore campus, academic majors, and participate in campus life during the biannual preview day. Thursday night, a benefit concert was held in honor of Coach Shannon Turner and her family. Turner, UWA's women's basketball coach, lost her home and her belongings to a house fire during the summer break. Proceeds from the event were given to the family to help replace clothing, food, and other household items. On October 1st, Phi Buddha Ruta National Percussion hosted a benefit concert, Harmony for Hope, in order to raise money for the women's assistant basketball coach, Shannon Turner. UWA choir, singers, and special guests performed at this event. Student and guests had the opportunity to donate food, clothes, and money. Phi Buddha Ruta and Sigma Pi donated a check for the cause. Some UWA classroom facilities have gained new technology and furnishings. The Mac Lab used by the IMC program is no exception. We started the Mac Lab renovation in February of this past spring semester um, as far as making the decision of when the walls were going to go down. Um, I think the wall came down sometime in April and it took the entire summer. The lack of funding was one of the issues that we were real worried about. With that being said, we've been doing fundraising projects for the room renovation probably for the last three years. The problem we ended up having is the TV that we had, the 75 inch TV, ended up broken in the box. We had to send that back. So that actually delayed us finishing everything about two weeks. Speaking of improvements to campus, UWA was awarded a $2.3 million competitive PBI grant to assist with changes in student advising and retention. Now to Caitlin to find out how this grant will improve the college experience for UWA students. UWA recently received a competitive grant from the U.S. Department of Education. We spoke with Ms. Angel Jowers to learn more. Funding started October 1 for a $2.3 million grant from the U.S. Department of Education. Um, the grant is to begin a retention center on campus. Um, initially, it will be for conditionally admitted students, first generation students, um, but then eventually it will be opened up to all um, students on campus. It will be located on the second floor of Speeth Hall. It will have a technology center, so it will be um, equipped with technology needs that students may have that we can help them with and also allow for mentors and uh, tutors to help these students. This is Caitlin Beard, Livingston, Alabama, Studio 96. Thanks, Caitlin. Beginning on Thursday, UWA Center for the Study of the Black Belt Archives hosted a genealogy through the ages conference. This three-day event was supported by a grant from the Alabama Humanities Foundation. The conference was dedicated to discussing the local resources accessible to people researching their ancestors in the Black Belt region in West Alabama and East Mississippi. UWA has a new face in the football stands, with Leah Sorensen taking over the head coaching position of the Stars of Alabama dance team. Now to Jess for an interview with Leah. Local staff member steps up as UWA's new dance coach. In addition to the dance coach, I also work in the counseling office as the outreach coordinator for our suicide prevention grant. I danced in high school and I also danced my first two years here at West Alabama. It's been a long time since I've danced, um, so it's kind of awkward coming in mid-season, but they're doing a really good job and I'm very proud of them. We love Leah! Jess Harwell reporting from Livingston, Alabama, Studio 96. Thanks, Jess. Last Friday, stadiums were pinked out for the fight against breast cancer awareness. UWA Volleyball beat Lee University in the third clean sweep of the season, winning three sets in a row. Outdoors, women's and men's soccer both kept their perfect conference records alive with wins against Christian Brothers University and Union University. Tigers are set to head on the road this weekend with volleyball facing Union and men's and women's soccer facing Lee University on Friday night. The rodeo team will kick off their hometown showdown this Thursday night and will continue through Saturday. Wondering if the fall weather is here to stay? We head to Brooke Ames to find out if it's time to unpack our winter clothing. Brooke? I hope you haven't replaced your shorts with sweaters because the cooler fall weather won't be around this week. You can expect temperatures to stay near 80 degrees. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Brooke. That's all the news we have for you today. Stay tuned next week to find out more about this year's homecoming festivities. 
I'm Randa Simpson. And I'm Callie Murphy, Studio 96.